parallel lines and transversal. Now, basically, we have two parallel lines over here: par uh, line L and line M. Line L and line line M are parallel to each other. They lie in the same plane. And now, this line, this particular line, see, we call it. We label it as Q. Now, Q is called the transversal. Basically, what is a transversal? It's a line that intersects given two lines in two distinct points. See, now here and here, it, it, it is intersecting these two lines at two distinct points. Then this is called as the transversal. So, parallel lines and its transversal. This chapter is all about parallel lines and, the trans and, and its transversal. Now basically when the transversal cuts two parallel lines, there are four angles here. See, there are four angles formed here and four angles formed here. See, angle one, two, three, four, and say your five, six, seven, eight. So basically total eight angles are formed when one line, one uh, transversal cuts two parallel lines. Now, basically, there are three types of angles which we are going to study in this chapter. The first type is corresponding angles. Now, what are corresponding angles? See, now you can see this angle 3 and angle 8. Now, basically, they are in the same direction. Okay? They are in the same direction. And it's on the same side of the transversal. So these angles are called as corresponding angles. Now, basically, the de according to the definition, it says that they, they should lie in the same direction and they should be on the same side. So basically, remember, you can see, see this, I will just use another color. See, uh, remember the letter L basically. See, it forms an L. This and this. So I'll just give you L. Okay, so this way you can see an L here, you can see an L here. So these are corresponding angles. Now, the other, the next one is interior angle. Interior angles. Now, interior angles are those angles, uh, those pairs of angles which are on the same side of the transfer and inside the given lines. For example, now say uh, now, inside. Say here you have this angle 4, your angle 6. They are inside. So they are interior angles. So remember this letter C. Okay. So I'll just give you C this way. Interior. Okay. So these are called interiors. Now here which ones will be interiors? This one and this one. Okay. So C, you are also C. These two are interiors here. These two are interiors here. Now the third one is, you have is alternate angles. Okay. Alternate angles. Basically what are alternate angles? They are pairs of, they are pairs of angles which are on the opposite side of the transversal and and their arms are on the opposite direction. For example, I will show you through markings here. Now see you. This, okay, this is one angle. Its alternate angle is going to be here. So they are like in the opposite direction here. So this is alternate to this. This is going to be alternate to this. So basically, you have the letter Z here, you color it, and here. So remember Z, now here and here. So this Z. So for alternate, you have to remember Z. Correspondent, remember L. L. For interior, C. And angles which I am talking about over here are interior alternate angles. Practice at exercise 2.1. Now, in this exercise, we have given us two sums. So, the first one says, in the adjoining figure, each angle is shown by a letter. Fill in the boxes with the help of, with the help of the figure. Now, these blanks are given. 
so to fill in these blanks with the help of the figure now corresponding angle corresponding to p our p is zero i told you letter l so this is l and this is another l so l and l so which one is corresponding to p here angle w the other one q for q this is a l here so corresponding to q is going to be here see so l here l here so this is going to be angle x now corresponding to angle r r is here so l here the other l is going to be this one so this that's going to be x is going to have angle y has the corresponding angle corresponding to s so this is an l s is here corresponding is going to be this one z another l so this to this so here you will have angle z now these are corresponding angles the other part says write the interior alternate angles means now for example s s has the interior and interior and alternate so that means s when we speak about alternate i told you it's z okay so this z if s is one the other one is going to be x okay alternate angle is going to be x so we have angle x now for w w is zero so if i make a z here it's going to be this okay so for w it's going to be this angle and this is r so it's going to be angle r okay now we have another sum here sum number two observe the angles shown in the figure and write the following pairs of angles interior angles now interior means inside so now we have uh, sorry interior alternate angles interior ang alternate angles is like for example over here you have angle c e so this i'll form a z so this is a z fine so e is going to be with c so angle e and angle c the other one is going to be see this h and we form a z here okay this is a z h and b h and b so you have this then second one you have h and b okay so only uh, two pairs you have of interior alternate angles corresponding angles corresponding means l so you have angle say a angle e and angle e you just have to see l letter l so e and a then you have say uh, angle d and you also have angle h l over here l over here so the second one will be this is your first one the second will be angle d and angle h now two are done now see here f and d so you have angle f and angle e and there's one more left here that is g and c angle g and angle c so basically you have four this and this this and this this and this this and this so you have all together four corresponding angles the third one is interior angles interior means letter c that is you have c here letter c you have c here take another color c so d and e angle d and angle e and you have angle c and angle h because they are also forming a c here second one this is your first one second one you have angle c and angle h so i hope this is clear all the three concepts are clear to you corresponding angle interior angle and 
っていうみたいに。